Social change starts when people come together to create a shared vision of the future together. Opinions and priorities usually differ at first. It is easy for arguments to start. But discussion leads views to align around shared priorities or seeing one as a starting point opportunity. This shared priority is a meeting point, representing collective hope that a better future is possible. A seed of community change has started to grow. Principle one, build from success. Like an actual seed, this collective opportunity can continue to grow if nurtured with the right conditions. Society, as in nature, not all seeds will take root, just as not all priorities can be addressed to begin social change. Social seeds most likely to flourish are ones being grown with local human energy, not resources from outside. Like a good opportunity, a healthy seed grows when the right conditions are met. Opportunities most likely to grow are the ones that begin with resources that are available and then grow using the process described in this video. Seed scale refers to the idea of starting with successes in a community, which can be viewed as seeds of potential in a community. These can be grown both bigger and better using the seed scale process. Planting in community support is the beginning. As a seed needs soil, social change requires a nurturing base. Community support is the necessary partner for social change to take root. Change emerges from the bottom up but it does not happen on its own. Growth requires the planting, nurturing, and adaptation for each setting. Success energizes. It gives evidence that something positive has started. Observable progress may seem small, but if the seed is something that earlier succeeded, then there is potential below the surface, producing gradual, and subtle change. Do not assume a seed has failed because visual results are not immediate. A start was made. The process of taking root in a community requires more than seed and soil. Principle 2. Three-way partnership. Social change occurs within each community's specific mix of top-down enabling policies, financing, value sets, and regulations. The actors of change are typically located in the community, working from the bottom up. They do so within whatever top-down enabling environment exists as policies, regulatory structures, financing systems, and value sets. Change results when external factors bring in innovations of training, technology, and experimentation. These outside-in dynamics readjust and facilitate the potential of the bottom-up and top-down to be more effective. The more conducive are the conditions of the partnership, the more productive will be growth. Relationships are what drives the process. A seed of success is growing from the bottom up. As growth accelerates, it is like a natural seed taking root in community. The top-down environment enables this process through resources and regulations. The outside-in brings innovations that optimize and magnify social growth.
As plants need rain and sun from the outside in, so also community successes need funding, knowledge, and skills. Bottom-up growth is occurring from the community. Outside-in and top-down resources are being used by the community, but they are assisting growth from within the local soil. Growth is localized, but each plant, like every community, while locally based, is not alone in the world. All live in a global context. We live in a one world of finance and knowledge, especially in the present age. This world encircling socio econo biosphere is the home of all life. Here, people and plants live in mutual dependency and interdependency. Evidence based decision making, principle number three. Guiding Growth Through Correct Decisions How will decisions be made? Traditionally, people look to leaders to make decisions. So action is taken according to the leader's direction. But people in power do not necessarily know the local conditions. Decisions made by people of authority without consulting the evidence are often wrong. Experts often do not know local conditions. They tend to tell you how to do it. Even more often, they tell you that what you are doing is wrong. Results may be, and hopefully are, successful but often the experts' decisions were supported with the experts' money. Decisions made based on money do not utilize local resources. They may succeed as long as the money lasts, but without local resources, they will not last. An alternative method of decision-making is the people's opinion. If decisions are made on individual priorities, action takes separate forms. As uncoordinated growth continues with differing community initiatives, it creates local competition for limited resources. Optimized decisions come from gathering evidence. From that, informed action can follow. And with that, groups support the action. Facts have the ability to bring factions together. Collecting evidence leads people to find site-specific solutions. Principle number four, changing behaviors, creating improved community life. Improving life happens in a context of community. To learn how to improve their lives, people in one community go to visit neighboring communities. Each community member that visited a neighboring community comes home with stories and ideas based on what they've seen. One person learned how to grow vegetables, and he shares that knowledge with his neighbors. Another member of the community has come home knowing how to raise chickens using a more modern approach, and gets a bounty of eggs. Exchanges start to occur between community initiatives. Others decide to copy, but people start to have problems. The problems keep growing. The family that visited the third neighboring community also returns. They are accompanied by a health worker. 
The health worker provides short-term services to address the immediate concerns. The health worker leaves. After the health worker leaves, sicknesses return. Arguments begin. Some blame the health worker. Some argue that they need a health worker of their own. Division appears within the community. A community meeting is called to resolve the differences. As the meeting progresses, differences become factionalized, each side arguing to resolve its problem. The meeting members finally resolve that training will advance their separate concerns. Trainers from neighboring communities come. Afterwards, they return home. Local community members are now identified and trained as different local experts. Throughout the community, people are initiating new behaviors through growing vegetables, raising animals, and taking healthy action. The result is an expanding community. It is wealthier, more vibrant, and internally connected as a cohesive community. Externally, the community now starts to network with other communities. Ideas are being exchanged. Production is going out. Connections are happening. New technologies are coming back in. Larger networks form of integrated communities. Within each community, vibrant life is growing. As relationships strengthen, they enhance resourcefulness and security. Guiding the seed scale process of social change. The four principles provide a universal framework to advance locally site-specific solutions.